Hi everybody, it's Pam again with Silver and Sparkles. And I am going to show you real quick how I make these pretty envelopes. Um, and I use this We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. So it's super easy, but can be confusing. And especially like I use it and then I don't use it for a while and then I have to remember what I'm doing. So I just thought I'd share since I got a question from one of my subscribers about it. So um, it tells you here, even though it's really hard to read, um, exactly what to do. So if you know what size card you have or item you wanna put in your envelope, um, it has all the different sizes you can do with this punch board. So, um, if we are going to use, we want a envelope, this one here, that would hold an item three and a half by six. So a letter or a card that you've made, you, it will tell you that's the size you're going to end up with. And then the size paper you need. So we need an eight by eight piece of paper. And it tells you then a score line. And for this size, we would the score line we're going to use is three and one eighth. So um, I picked that one because I have an eight by eight pack of paper sitting here that I'm using for because they're pretty spring ones. So eight by eight piece of paper. And we're going to find the three and one eighth score line, which is right here. Okay. So you just line up the corner of your paper to that score line and you punch, all right? And then you score. And so your score mark is here and it takes you all the way up there to the middle. Now you're not using that again. And that's where I always get confused. Um, you just turn your paper, you find that score line. I don't know how hard this is to see on camera but you line this little pointy thing up with the score line you just made and you punch and then you score again, okay? And then you're gonna turn your piece of paper again, line up the score line with the little pointy piece of plastic. Did I punch? <laughs> punch and score, okay? And you do this for all four sides. Now, punch and score. I don't know if it matters if you punch first or not, but I, I tend to. And then you have these little pieces of paper, and then this is what your piece of paper looks like. And then all you have to do is turn it over. I use the bone folder, or bone, is that what it's called? Yeah, my brain. Um, my score tool and fold. Crease, fold it on your score lines, right? Make a nice crease, and then you have an envelope. Now, obviously, if you want to use this as an envelope, I'll need to come through and put some adhesive or some glue, um, and you can decide how you what what look you like. I usually do this bottom one here. Okay, you can also, if you want to, you could trim this off for a finished look as well. What I love about using uh, my own envelopes that I fold myself is if I want to add them as an, a page in a junk journal, and then you automatically have a pocket, right, is before you glue them together, you can sew it in, and then it's a page in a journal. Okay, I hope that made sense. We'll do one more, and this one I cut the paper to six by six. So you can see how easy that is. You find, this is for a three by four card, six by six, and I'm going to two and five eighths. So I go to two and five eighths, which is right here. Punch, score, Punch score, you keep turning. I think with this darker paper, it might be easier to see my score line when you turn it. It's really not hard um, to see. Um, it may, again, I'm not sure on the camera. 
what how that's turning out. And of course you can use your bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Look how precious that little envelope is. Okay, and you know me, I'm probably gonna decorate these all up and put embellishments all over them. And sometimes I even line them um, or use two-sided paper. So there's a lot of um, contrast. So now all I need to do maybe is make one more this size and then I'd have a nice pretty set and could have some stationery too. All right. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I know there's other videos on how to use it, and um, but I, I was asked, and I've been using it a lot lately, so I thought I'd do a quick, a quick demo. I hope you enjoyed, and I appreciate your support. And if you don't mind liking and subscribing to my channel, that would be amazing. Thanks, everybody.